Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Xylon ROM for Galaxy X's GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So right away, I want to uh, tell you about one problem I had when I first installed this. On um, the navigation bars, I had a little circle with a mark in between it, so it, was, it wasn't it was functional for each three. Uh, so if you do get that problem like I did, I even tried doing a factory restore and it still didn't fix it, so I just wanted to go into, I just wanted to settings, then went into... YT tools, also known as Xylon tools, and then go into navigation bar, and then go into button one, action, and icon, and then choose back for that one. Go to the second one, and choose home, and go to the third one, and choose recents, and then look like this. If you do get that problem with the circle and a uh, cross in between, and the icons don't work, the navigation bars don't work, just go into settings, and then go into navigation bar um, via Xylon tools. So that will fix your problem. Just want to tell you right away so you guys don't keep asking me that uh, via comments to help you out. So let's go ahead and look at this. So you're running about phone. Let's go there. You got Xylon right there. So, oh, that's pretty nice. You have a nice uh, own section. <laughs> Xylon right there. So you got status, phone, all that nice stuff. So you do know you're running on Xylon. Um, as you can see, navigation bars are modified. So they look a little bit different. Uh, let me show you a normal um, navigation bar. So that is how a normal one looks. But this is how the Xylon one looks. So that's the difference. So you can see it's a little bit different. It's more sharper, has uh, more rigid corners if you weren't noticing. Um, let's go ahead and, and um, actually look at some of the new apps that were installed automatically. So you got Clean Master and Sound Recorder are pre-installed with this RAM. Oh, you also have Google settings right away. So you don't have to update your Google now or anything like that. It's automatically into there. Uh, let's So let's try Clean Master. And it's supposed to keep your phone clean and does require root, but it's already pre-rooted, so it doesn't matter. So you have uh, history, privacy, uh, task, and app manager. And it also gives you options for SD card usage and device storage um, usage and free memory and all that too. So that's pretty awesome. You have other options, so update and all the feedback and all that. So you can't really do anything there. It's the same thing there. <laughs> so that's kind of pointless as two options are there. Maybe whatever. <laughs> so you have all that options too. And it does pop up task. So let's try that. And there you go. So you can clean the cache right here. Um, so it has the RAM taking up. So let's go and clean it. Just for the heck of it. So now it cleaned up 16.1 megabytes. Uh, so let's go into settings. Whoop. And go all the way down to YT tools. And let's try it. Uh, it's got general UI themes, navigation bars, and all that. So let's go and try Pi Control. So that's all right. So Pi is already enabled. And let's do trigger area is normal. I want normal. And then Pi size. Let's choose it to be um, normal and then uh, pi style. Normal, normal sizes, uh, normal. And let's choose uh, pi gravity is on to the right. Let's choose that. And there you go. So now you have your pi control right there. So that's a nice feature. There's the pi control. Uh, so let's go and uh, let's try and dark xylon. Let's see how that looks. So I know it changes the settings. So as you can see, you got a lot darker. Go there, and you can see the difference right there. So I don't know if it's changed. I know it changes some of the apps, but not all the apps. So let's go ahead and try out. Um, let's try uh, navigation ring, and let's add some more. So let's add um, targets. Let's add uh, three more. So now you can add one there. Uh, sh let's do that one. Uh, let's do um, screen off for that one. And let's choose another one and choose. Short action and do select application and let's um oh let's back out of that. Short action, uh select application, application, and choose camera. We all like cameras, right? We love using those. Save it. And now it should work. And there you go. Now you and now it's working. Let me go and back out so you can see it better. And now you got your camera there and sleep screen off. Sorry. And you have your Google now, and you can at least change the order of it whichever way you want. So that's a nice look. You can add up to four or five, I think I remember seeing. So that's a nice look of it. Go into lock screen and see what we can do with there. Um, allow lock screen rotation. So now it should work this way. And it should, does it work this way? No, it doesn't. Does it work this way? Yeah, okay, so it works those two ways 90 degree turns. So it makes it work. Uh, default wallpaper, you can do custom fill, transparent. Let's try a transparent. It's always fun to look at. So now you can see what's running in the back, what application or yeah, application or settings or whatever is in the background. That's what you see. So that's pretty cool. Wouldn't really recommend it, but it's always nice to see. <laughs> so let's do default wallpaper. 
So let's go ahead and try, um, I enabled maximize widgets and allow all widgets. So now, and allow unlimited widgets. So let's go and try that. So first of all, the lock screen's always like that. You have to tap on it and then unlock it if you want. And then with um, any type of widget, you can uh, add AirDroid, which originally wasn't I wasn't able to put on a lock screen just because it's not optimized for my lock screen. So uh, this overrided the uh, stock Android authority and overridden with this. So I can actually add um, AirDroid if I wanted to, not that I would use it or anything. But it's just nice to have if you want to use like a weather widget or something like that. That doesn't necessarily work with it. Uh, you can if you want. Enable lock, long press unlock. So let's say you're like this, you know, you have the full screen. You can just go ahead and hold it, and there you go, you're unlocked. So that's a nice feature. That's a basic look of Zalan Ram for your next for GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as it does really help me a lot. It shows me to support me. You want to see more of these videos, and you want to see more ROM reviews, app reviews, and just videos uh, and related in general. Also, don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. That's also an excellent way to gain contact with me for whatever reason. Maybe this ROM isn't installing correctly. Maybe a rooting question, or maybe like, oh, what, what's the next device you can get? You can always contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Uh, links down below for the ROM and links down below for my social networks to contact me for whatever reason. You have a question or whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.